Amen, amen. Thank you, everybody. Good evening to everybody. Welcome. And may we have a lovely, lovely evening tonight. We continue our journey to learn biblical Hebrew. Right. Here is the Aleph Bet. Aleph. There is the Aleph. Wait, let's let's make this there. There is the Aleph. As you can see, it is straight down with one that's going up and then one going down. Number meaning unity, which is Echad. Echad is one. Its value is one. The letter meaning strong, power, leader, primary one, separate individuals. Bet. There is bet. Now, we know that bet has a dot in it, and it has without the dot, then it is vet. So bet or vet, whether it's got a dot in or not, its value is two. The number meaning balance between God and man, duality, two, together, house, family, in, with. I'm just going quickly because we've done this before. Gimel, number three. There is Gimel, number three. Wholeness in each of our three parts. Remember, we as humans have got three parts, body, soul, and spirit. This Gimel means uh, unity in all of them. And the letter meaning is gather, walk, carry, store, lift up, or pride. Dalit. Dalit is a value of four. The coming plan of yud hei vav -Hey on earth. Uh, it's also a door. We can move or hang, or enter, or open, and it's also a path or a pathway. Don't worry too much about the letter meanings at this stage. Um, we're not going to move into those uh, fully. I just want you to know and to have them with you. Hay, number five. There is the hay, and as you can see, it has this little part is loose from the top. It has a window. And it stands for the Torah, which is number five. It's got five books. Hey is number five. Also stands for justice, judgment, grace, mercy, love, behold. The letter meaning is look. Look through the window and see. It's also a man. Behold. Reveal. Show. Sigh. Or breath. Now, all these words are very, very important, particularly in the creation. They, were, they came because God created by his breath. And he said, look, man, behold, I'm going to reveal. I'm going to show you things. Fine. Then we carry on with bar. And that's value six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, bet is also vet. Number six is bar. Look at bar. I want you to look at Vav carefully. Write Vav, practice Vav quite a few times because it has a certain length. If you make it a bit longer, it could be a Nun Sufit, which means the Nun, the end letter of the Nun, or it could be the Chaf if it's longer. So this short Vav is uh, is the one that is the value of six. 
and it is for mankind or humanity. It is also a hook. It joins things together. It is, we add, and it is also to secure, or it is and, A-N-D. If I say you and me, it will be at or ata, vav, and it's me, ani. Uh, vav will be and. Okay? Any questions there? Okay, let's carry on. Then we go to Zion, which is number seven. There is Zion. It also has a tittle, as you can see. It's got that straight portion, then it comes back and goes down. It's number seven. This is if you're writing and you want to write seven books. I bought seven books. Then you're going to put Zion a Livre. I wrote, I bought seven books. And it means completed. That is, nothing else is to be added to it. Zion is completed. It's finished. That is what Jesus said on the cross when he said, it is finished. It's done. It's a full cup. I have finished. And the word meanings, food, or cut, or pierce, plow, or two. Right? Fine. Then, chet. Chet is number eight. Now, chet looks very much like the H, except that it does not have that window which the hay had. Chet is joined on both sides. And it's a brand new start. It's a new beginning. The word means a fence or it's an outside. It's half. I can divide and it's protect. It's also a wall <laughs> and quite a few others. But these are, for now, are, are the ones that you should learn. Or we'll just have a look at and just make them, um, if you can, start thinking of them and remembering them. I will be glad because just later on we're going to use them. Tet. Tet is the one that looks like the snake. Remember? There is the head. It comes down. It goes across. It goes up and around the little snake tail. And its value is nine. The word is righteous judgments of decision making. Tet is a very lawful word, if we can use it like that. Righteous judgments of decision making. Now, its word meaning snake, surround, because look, it surrounds you. It's a clay container, or as we said last time, a basket. Clay container could be a basket. Mud or twist. Yud. There is Yud, the smallest letter in the alphabet, And its value is 10. From 1 to 10, that's Yud. And Yud is complete confidence in Yahweh and who you are in him. Yud is a very important little letter. Well, all of them are, are very important. But let's say Yud, I like Yud. It's, it's a very nice one. Now, the word meaning is work, throw, make, or worship. Then we come, now, we don't continue with 11, 12, and 13. As you've seen, we continue now with doubling the letters. We now go to cuff. And that is cuff. That is cuff without a dot. 
If it has a dot, it is kaf. But without the dot, it is khaf. The k becomes a kh. Kaf, kaf, and then the third letter, but we'll get to the third letter later. And its value is 20. So up to 10 is yud, but then we start at 20. Something highlighted in your life that is out of balance. Now, this is very important. If there is something in your life that is out of balance, may I ask you tonight that you will go before the Lord and you will ask him to show you what it is that is out of balance because we must fix them up so that we can improve and become fully mature sons of God. He wants us to be mature. And yes, all our nonsenses and all our out of balances, he would like to fix them. And he can. He loves us so much that when we ask him and say, ah, oh, Lord, you know, I've got this temper, I've got this bad, I, I, I talk nonsense and I, and I really uh, speak bad about my neighbors, et cetera, et cetera. But please forgive me. He does so immediately and he washes it away because he is holy. He does not want all these things around him. He doesn't want these wrong things. He wants us all to be in balance. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Then the word value. <laughs> Sorry. Tani, while you are <laughs> coughing, can you take this question? Is there any specific reason why we're jumping from 10 to 20? That is the, the letter of the letter. Uh, because so it's just a, it's a sequence of the letters. We do. We um, this is ten, uh, twenty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, if you uh, when we do the numbers, when I do the ordinary numbers for you, in which you're going to quote, say for argument's sake, your telephone number or the post box number or all those other numbers, like one. One is a hat. Shtaim uh, is two. Shalosh is three. You see, there is a different set of numbers as well. Okay. But these are the values of the letters. Each letter has a value. That is why we go here from 10 to 20. Uh, because if I have to write 11, I'm going to use the other numbers of my numbering system. Okay. Okay. Understand? This is okay. So that's why. Yes, we all understood. Yeah, we now go to the higher letters. You'll see we now go in tens, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60. Because the in-between numbers, we use the other numbers. Okay. These are just when you're writing something and you say, uh, today I bought 20 books. You're going to write down cuff. I bought cuff books. It's, it's a figure. It's a number. It's, it's a value. But... If I'm going to have to count that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven children in class, I'm going to use the other numbers which they have a system for. Okay. And that we will get to in, uh, in our next lesson. Uh, I started putting them out, but then I, I was a bit slow. Okay. So next, next week, if the Lord spares us, Look forward to it. I'm going to teach you the numbers that we can count. Okay. Kaf, the letter meaning is bend. It is the bend. It is a bend. Allow, tame, cover, open, 
and bless. We will get to these letters soon. Right. Now we go to Lamed. Zion Chet Tet Yud Kaf Lamed. Lamed. Lamed's value is 30. The cost and the sacrifice. Oh dear, where is the rest? The cost and the sacrifice. Oh dear. Okay. It's a cost and a sacrifice. It's also a hook of the shepherd, the cost, the, the, the um, staff. The lamed is the staff. I can add secure hook join. Why is that? Okay. Lamed is the tallest letter. It goes above the lines and it goes onto the lines. So where I write all my other letters in the lines, Lamed goes above the line and then goes down into the line. Lamed is a tall letter. Okay? Mem. And how far are we supposed to go? Oh, we're supposed to go up to Samech. Okay. We're going to go up to Samech. Mem. After Lamed, we have Mem. There is Mem. It is that mem, its value is 40. And I love mem uh, when I used to go to the children and drive to them. Then I'd say to them, I am now at mem. And they would know exactly where I was on the road because there was a speed limit of 40 k's per hour and a certain place uh, on the way to them. And so if I said, I'm at mem now, then they would know I'm at that certain place. But now, okay, that's 40. A set time or season or, now look nicely, this is a Hebrew word, moed, a season, a time. That's what moed means, a season or a set time, a moed. Okay? There's our Hebrew word. You can add it to your vocabulary, if you like, in your book. The meaning of the word mem is chaos, might, blood, out of, what, or how. Okay? Mm -hmm. Next. Nun. There is nun. Nun is, is a tiny little letter. It's very thin. And its value is 50. And the number stands for freedom and release from things that have held you bound. Nun is a beautiful letter. The meaning of the word is to continue or to be an heir. <clears throat> Life, a son, or an action. Okay? Then we get to Samech. 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 There is the S. It is a circle, a round letter. Its value is 60. The threshold of a main phase in your life, like Passover, or it's like leaving Egypt. It's an important time. It's an important phase, Samech, in your life, like Passover or leaving Egypt. Okay? And the letter meaning is to grab or to hate, to protect. It's a thorn, although a thorn also is a kotz. But we'll get there. It's a support, it's an aid, and it's also a twist. Now, these two are the next, next week's, but I'm, I'm going to use them now. Ayin. 
Ayin is your second soundless letter. Aleph, the very first letter, number one, is the... I've just said ah. Remember? It's like air or hour. You don't hear it. Now, ayin is also got no sound. If I want to use an ayin in the spelling of the word, I've got to put a vowel dot or stripe to give it a sound. Otherwise, it's got no sound. Then it's... And uh, so I need it. And its value is 70 generational blessings and the promise of generations. Watch, see, know, experience, understanding. Very important word this as well. Ayin is also a lovely word, but they're all beautiful. <laughs> okay, and then pay, just the last one on this screen is there, the pay. And remember, if the pay has got a dot, it is the P. It's a sequence of new beginnings. It's 80. But if it doesn't have a dot in it, then it is a fay. It's not a pay, but a fay. Right? Like the bet and the vet. This is now pay, and the one without the dot is pay. And those we use in the spelling of different words, okay? So that's pay or fay, and its value is 80. Both of them are 80. A sequence of new beginnings. It's also a mouth. You can blow. You can scatter. It's the edge, it's enter, you command, or you speak. Okay, all right, I'm going to go over, and, uh, well, no, this, shall we carry on for some more time? Or would you like to go and quickly get yourself a cup of coffee? Hello, would you like to get yourself a cup of coffee quickly? I'm okay. No, no, I'm easy. Hi, Josh. No, I'm easy. I'm good. Hi, I'm guys. Good. All right, you're I'm gonna good. get okay. Go and get yourself a cup of coffee quickly, and then in five minutes we'll be back. And I we thought can I thought Josh ran away today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's go and get ourselves a cup of coffee quickly, and then we'll be back in five minutes. All right. Thank you. Right, are we back? Are we back? Are we here? Yes, yes. Right, yes. We're, back. We're, back. we're back. Right, we're back. Good. So let's go now. Uh, those were just the um, uh, letters that we did, and now next uh, next week uh, is our last of the whole Aleph Bait. I know some of you know them. And just a bit later, we're going to, we're going to recite them and see how well you know them. Uh, I know some of you, uh, you know them all very well. Okay, so let's check our letters. This is Aleph. Aleph is a silent letter. If I had to say Aleph, I'll say but if I put an A vowel or an E, it would change the sound of it. And remember, what is its value? One. I say it's one. And look how we write it. And please, folks, I would love you to take a piece of paper. And uh, if you can, if you've got square paper, square paper, 
then take the square paper and do and practice your letters in a square. So this would be in a square and you would do the other letters in a square as well. Please, and as I said before, try and do your lettering of the Hebrew alphabet as neatly as possible. I don't know your handwritings. I haven't seen them, but please, if you write, don't write your A just long, long with just all over the show, but write it neatly that it is that it looks like that. Okay? I know you will do. Right, so let's Aleph one. Bet. There is the bet. And what is this that is at the bottom? Tittle. 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 It is a tittle. Marvelous. Wonderful. Right. So there you have the bet with its dagesh. That dot is called a dagesh. And uh, later on, we're going to get another word. Lene and Claire, would, we have the two dageshes. But this one is a dagesh. And then that. That also has a dagesh because remember we looked at the cuff and it didn't have that at all. So there can be a big, big confusion if we don't we leave off the tittle. And the tittle is Matthew 5 18, where Jesus mentions the tittle, right? So that's bet, that, Aleph, bet, that. Gimel. Gimel, gi, g, gi. Gimel, okay? Gimel. Gi, uh-uh, gi. Not gu, gi. Say gimel. Gi. <laughs> Try gimel. Aye, gimel. It must be gimel, not gumel. Uh, gimel. And it is walking towards the next letter, which is the. Dalet. Dalet. Right. Dalet is your supply, your full supply. Your it's it's uh, the door. It opens up to God's provision, and look, it also has a tittle. It also has a tittle. See, there is the tittle. If I put my the, uh, pointer over it, it's got no tittle, then that is a resh. But if it's got a tittle, it's a dalit. So the tittle does mean something. So please don't ignore them. You put them, if, if it's a dalit, it's got to have a tittle. Uh, here is a very little tittle, but here is it's written better. I do my handwriting when I write, I write like this. I put the tittle in so that I can see it and I know the spelling. All right? And this value is... Four. Oh. Four. Four. Door. Okay. Right. Next. Value five. It's got hey. a. Hey. It's hey. 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 That's it. hey, you. Hey. Look. Reveal. Yeah. Hey. You redeem. You reveal. You look. It's breath. It's all those. Right. It's got the window. And it's a very, very important young letter, but we use it a lot, right? So you've got A. Hey, we're up to five. Who'd like to quickly just say the first five? Hello, Tommy. Yeah, hello, Da. Safe and my home. Alif, Bet, Bet, Kumal, Talet. Hey. I say, I say, I say. Muy. Good. Let's carry on. 
What's that? All right. This one seems to be a, a, a very difficult letter. Uh, I don't know why people can't understand. But this is the Vab. A Vab. Hey, Vab. Alapet Gimel Dalet Hey, Vab. Vab. V A V. Vab. Now, as I said to you before, I personally write all my vavs like this, not like this with just the type. Because to me, it is, well, it's con uh, confusing. Because if that's slightly longer, it's a different letter. And if it's slightly shorter, it's a different letter. If it's slightly shorter, it's a yud. And this is a vav. That's why I write my Hebrew vav always with like this. So if I can suggest it to you to make your life easier when we start reading, because you will see that when I, I'm going to give you a little bit later, going to give you written Hebrew stuff to translate for me. Not quite now, but a little bit later. And then you're going to see. But now is that a vav? Is it a yod? Is it a, what is it? Because they've got it in the written stuff. They've got it like this. You see, you can confuse it. So, I personally do my vav like that. Then I know immediately this must be a vav because it has the top and the bottom. All right. Okay. It's just a suggestion from me. If you want to do just a straight line, then you must make sure that you have just that length for the vav. The longer half you're going to have a longer half. The yud, you're going to have a short little letter. Without that, you're going to have that as the yud. So then you must know what you do. Okay. Right. So that's bab. Oh, and what's the value of the bab, by the way? Six. Hello. Boy, six. Yes. Six. This is the Zayin. Good for you. Thank you. It too has a tittle. Look, it's got a tittle. See, if I cover up the tittle, it looks very much as if it could be a vav. But there, uh -uh. it can't. That It has a tittle. So it has a tittle and it comes down straight. And it is a Z. It's represented in the Hebrew language by the Z. It is a Z. Zion. Okay? Uh, oh, yes, and uh, what is the value? Seven. I, good for you. I like that. <laughs> Together. Here we have the Het. And you hear Het. I've got to say Het. And I know uh, some of our gentlemen, it's, it's difficult because our language is not the same. But try and practice to say het. Het is joined to the top where the hay has the open window. But the het is closed. You can see that. Okay, and Chet is number eight. It's a beginning, a new beginning, and it is a wonderful letter, right? Then this is Tet. 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 T E T. Tet. Remember, this is the head, and then it goes down, and it is the tail of the snake. 
This is the snake, Tet. There is the Tet. Have a look at the Tet. Look at it and say that you are the snake. You are the Tet. You are the, the, the container. You are the, the basket. This is Tet. And what is its value? It's number nine. nine. Right. Nine. Good. Good. Look at this limb. Look how small that is now. Now, just slightly longer, you have the vav. But now shorter, you have the yud. That is why I personally, and that's, I'm just saying it's me, I do my yud like that. The modern people do it like that. I suppose that if you do it long enough, you'll get used to it and then you'll, you'll remember to do it short. But I prefer to do my yud like this. You decide. But whatever you do, remember the length. This is a short length. And the um, as I said before, hang on, look there. Look at that one. It's twice the length. You see, that is the vav. The vav. I went back. That's the vav. Then, yeah, then you go forward to the yud. Look there. That's shorter. You see? <laughs> now I know, Ngoni, you're, you're starting to say you're confused. No, no. This is the yud. I do my yud like this. Uh, actually, just sharper. I do it like sharp little, sharp uh, one letter. And I make it small. And I know that that is the yud. I, I can't seem to get the yud to look like that. I do mine like that. Take your pick. All right. And yud is number? Ten. Right, number 10. Now we go to, here we have a round letter that looks very much like the bet. But what's happening here? Sure. There's no tittle. This is the cough. Oh, the right. Yes, this is the, actually it's the cuff. It's an a. Ah. Ka, a, f, cuff. This is the cough, because the cough is the other one that looks like the P. That is the cough. This is the cough. Cough. Okay? And the, without the dot, it is the cough. 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 With the dot, half without the dot, it's softer. Okay, got it? Half, half. All right, you got it? Half, half. You learn half, yeah, say half, half, yeah. Right, good for you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, half and half. Yes. And, and practice, you stand and look in the mirror and you say, kaf, kaf. Yeah, kaf. Kaf, kaf. Yeah, kaf. Is it just a ger? Yeah, it's a ger. Kaf. Okay? Okay. Now, this is lamed. Look, I can do my kaf and my kaf here. But look, it extends above the line. Here goes the line that goes above the line. So that goes above the two lines. And then you have the lamed. Lamed. Okay. And, tell, and tell me how much is, what is lamed's value? Thirty. 
See how easy it is? It's a lamed, it's a very tall letter, and it is taller. Uh, let's say, look, there's mem, but now lamed would go up to here. I would start lamed here and go like that for lamed. This is. Sorry, sorry Tani. Yes. The kaf and the kaf, the kaf and the kaf, does it have the same value? Kaf, no. Kaf, what, what's the value of kaf? 20. 20. 20. 20, yes. Because this kaf is 20. Kaf, okay. 20. You see, they are the same, except they, uh, you spell them differently. This is now half. And this is a, a different letter as opposed to the cuff. Okay. That's a cuff. Okay. But with a with, with the dot. And without the dot, it is a half. Okay. You just say them differently, but they look the same. All right. Okay. Thank you. There's the half. Lamed, mem, mem is how much? How much is mem? Mem is 40, 40, speed limit of 40. If I'm traveling at 40 miles an hour, that is 40. That's my 40 k's per hour. And it does not have a, 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 a little thing at the tittle. It's just got this funny little squiggle in front. Some people put two squiggles. They put another little squiggle on there. But it's not necessary. It's just you put one and then you go around to there. Mem is open at the bottom. Whereas the others, the hay is open here at the top. But mem is how many 40 40 40 mem is 40 okay and the mem at the end of a word is going to look different but i will show you what it looks like later now we're going to look at mem and say mem you look like this I do my mem like this, okay. and it's quite okay. This is the handwritten mem. If you want to go be fancy like that, then no. Um, it, it takes too much time. I just use the mem, and it's beautiful. All right? So it's yes. 40. What's mem? 40. 40, mem 40, <laughs> okay, mem 40, lamed 30, lamed 30, half and calf 20, 20, more, more, good, jolly good, jolly good, okay, half and lamed is 30 and mem is 40. Forty, right, good. Now we go to the next one is noon. 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 Look at my mouth. Noon. Noon. <laughs> I'm pulling it a bit of much, but noon. Not none. Or oh, then noon. Okay. Noon. Noon. Right. We spell it N-U-N. We spell it none, but we say nun. Nun. Yes, because that's the Hebrew way of saying this letter, which is, and there it is. It's a very thin little letter. 
a very beautiful letter, and it's Nun, and Nun is 50. 50. 50. Uh, that's 5, 50. Uh, no, no. Okay, 50. <laughs> Nun is 50, half of 100. Nun is half of 100. Okay, you got it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, mustn't, I mustn't lose you. Please don't go away. Stay with me. <laughs> then we have Samech. 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 End with a s Samech. Okay? Samech. Right. I like it. You see, Samech is just a circle. Here it's a circle. And it's got a tittle, a little tittle. So give it its tittle, Samech. All right. Oh, what is this one? Ayin. Ayin. Jolly good. Ayin. It comes, so. I do my ayin. You start here. And you go that away, then you come from the top and you put in that letter. I don't do all this this sort of fancy thing here or this fancy thing here. I do iron down to the right, and then I come down from the top down to it to meet it. Okay, this is. Iron. And how much is iron? 70. 70. Iron is 70. Iron, 70. Okay. Come on, come back. What is Samech? 60. 60. Good for you. 60. And, yes. And Nun is 50. 50. Right. And mem, 40. 40. 40. Yes. And damed, 30. 30. 30. Lamed is 30. And cut or half is 20. 20. 20. Right. Good for you. Good. So that's 20, 20, 30, 40. Fifty, sixty, summer, sixty, summer, summer, sixty, yeah, sixty, and iron seventy. Iron seventy. We we did the pay and the study. But we'll do those next week, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll do them next week. Okay? Now, please go home and go and look at these letters. This uh, lecture is being recorded like the others have been recorded, as you know. Download it. Listen to it. Listen to it and, and practice. Write your letters on your piece of paper. And carry them with you. And as you go about your work, if you have five minutes to stand and wait in a, in a, in a line or in a queue, at a, at maybe at the bank, then you quickly can look at your Aleph Beit and recite it to yourself. Because it's only by reading it. They say if you can read it seven times a day, you're going to learn the alphabet in a, at most you're going to take two weeks and you're going to know it very, very well. But if you can't read it seven times a day, just read it once a day. But just keep on reading because that was the only way that I learned. Um, languages are, are easy for me, uh, sort of, but um, just keep on reading your letters, okay? Just keep on reading your letters. Okay, so shall we go back and see who can recite them? 
Let's go back and see who can recite. Right. Who wants to recite for me? I've got here, I've got, I'm making notes because I have to give a, an, an a evaluation to Gavin and to Bev of your, your, your progress. So, um, yes, let's see. Come on, come on. Who wants to try? Who wants to try? so. Okay. All right. Wie is dit daar? Wie is dit? Marius is aan het Oh, Marius. Kies toch, sorry, man. Nee, dat is niet waar. Ik heb het nou niet mooi Oké, Marius. Oké. 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 Ik moet jou voor. Bed. Wet. Gimel. Dalet. Hij. Hij is nog steeds op hij. <laughs> ik weet. Want ik mag voor jou. <laughs> Baf. Zayin. Ged. Ted. Jood. Kaf, Gaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Shamech. Shamech. Maar kom schoon daar aan. Shamech. Shamech, ja. Shamech. Ja. Shamech. Ja. Ayen. Ayen, you want to carry on? Uh, ja, we can. Pei. 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 Tadi, Kof, Kof, Resh, uh, Shin, Sin, Tav. Right, Johnny. Whoa, where did we go to now? Where did we go to now? <laughs> uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Excuse me, I just want to know. Excuse me. Oh, yellow. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Let's go back to the top. And who's going to do it for me, lady? Yes. I'll do it, Kevin. Okay. All right. Hang on a sicky. We're just going back. Chong, 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 chong. Okay. Oopsie. Right. That is Aleph. Okay, now who's that now? That is now Sharon. Sharon, yes. Okay, I thought so. Right. <laughs> Aleph. Bet. Bet. Gimel. Uh, Dalet. Hey. Vav. Zahin. Chet. Tet, Yud, Kaf, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ahin, Pei, Pei, Sadi, Kaf, Resh, Shin, Sun, Tav. Jolly. Jolly good. Okay. Um, okay, sorry, let me just make my note here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Who's going to try again? To the other Please. Sharon. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Right. Here we go. Who's that now? Sharon. Okay, Sharon. Okay, so that's now Sharon. Okay. Right. Let's go. Alef, Bet, Bet, Gemo, Dalet, Hey, Bav, Zayen, Chet, Tet, Yut, Kaf, 
Chaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ayin, Pei, Pei, Sadi, Kof, Resh, Shun, Sun, and Tav. Jolly, jolly, good. Okay. Mgoni, would you like to try? Where are you? <laughs> Mgoni, where are you? You want to try? Where's Ngoni? I think we've lost him. He has network issues. Okay. All right. So he, we've lost him. Okay. We lost him. <laughs> I'm just making a note. Okay. Um, okay. Marius. Vince, what about you? You jump. You jump in me. I, I, I was the first one before all these ladies. Oh, I see. Ach, do it for us again. Go on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Aleph. Yeah. Bet. Kino. I said Kino. Yeah. Dalet. Mm -hmm. Hey. Ba. Zayen. Hate, Tate, Yod, Kaf, and ah, is it Kaf or Kaf? Kaf, yeah, right, good. <coughs> Lamed, Mem. Noon, Sammer, Sammer, eh, make it a Sammer, 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 good for you, yes, I am, right, pay, pay, Sa Sadi 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 Tav. Mm -hmm. This is Shin. Yeah. Shin. Yeah. That's Shin. Yes, Shin. Yeah. Still, I'm still on Shin. Yeah, that is now Sin because the dot has moved to the. To okay, the, right. the dot has moved out to the top of the. It's now it's Sin. Okay. Now, now it's Sin. Good for you. Okay. Okay. Then that yeah. is tough. Tough. Right. That's tough. Anybody is it else? tough or tough? Tough. Tough. Then also, yeah, I've got a question. Yeah. On, yeah, tough. Mm -hmm. Okay. On on men, I saw one alphabet that was closed. It's similar to what you you taught us today. Go back to men. Oops, sorry, men. <clears throat> what yes. is closed? Where where does it close? You see, you see it goes so mm, the, the mem. This is open. Yeah, the mem that we yeah the mem I saw in one of the alpha Hebrew alphabet doesn't have this gap here at the bottom. Oh yes, that would be 
the end, the end of a word, mem. If I put mem at the end of a word, I would close this gap. And it's and it no, now someone is, someone is making noise, I can't hear you. Let me know Okay, Blaina Bigisto. When you have mem at the end of a word, it is square. You would do straight up, across, down, and close it up. Okay. Here on the top, it would just be, uh, it would have a slight tittle. It would be a yeah. like this, sort of just going up to there. It that was is, that. That is your mem at the end of a word. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's those were the that was the only confusion I had. It was yeah. that it was name and noon because noon yes. there was noon, noon that was more noon, like a verb. Noon, if you have noon at the end of a word, it goes down this goes down straight. That's noon at the end of a word. This that is closed, well, that is you would put it down straight. Okay. Below the line. That's why I'm saying when you do your other letters, hang on, where's the one that we that we look at? Mm -mm. Now let's just have a look and see this, like this. This one if it's at the end of a uh, word, it goes the same, same. Look here. Can you see that length? Mm -hmm. That is the vav. It, if I write it, it can be hanging from this to this letter. That is the length of the vav. It's, it, it's, uh, if I've got square paper, it would fit between this line and that line. That would be my vav. My vav would have the the letter on top and straight down, right? That would be that length. But now, if I do, hang on, that, that is half the length of the vav. That is why I say. Yeah, now hang on. That is why I say when I do the handwriting of these letters, I rather do instead of this straight little line, I do the yud like this. My yud looks like well it's it's like that. I do the yud and it is like that. Just like that. It's like a V that I've turned on its side. A V I've turned on its side. So that I can regulate the length of the letter. You understand? With you. Here, I find this difficult because now if I go to Vav, okay, I can see mm -hmm. it's longer. But how much longer? If I go down any more, I've actually written the kaf, kaf, kaf sufit. Kaf sufit goes down like this. So to avoid confusing the letters, sorry, 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 confusing the letters, I do my vav like this. Then I know this is vav. I'm not going to worry whether that is vav or chaf or kaf. And, okay. You understand? Okay. Yeah. To help me regulate my letter, I do my vav like that. Then I know that's a vav. If I do it a bit too long, then I can say, oh dear, is that a chaf or is that a vav? No, 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 this is a vav. 
You understand? It's easier to differentiate the difference in the letters. I don't like this because I can't control it. I don't know now if if I wrote it quickly, was that a yud or was that a chav? Or is it a cup? Or is the va? What is the length? Now, I am too much of a hurry to sit and figure it out every time. I just want to be able to read and say, that is va. That's why I don't do my vav like that. I do my vav like that. Okay? Understand? I'm with you. Okay. 100%. Okay. So, who else? Is there anybody else that needs to say their letters? Um, Ashley? Is Ashley? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, you, did you recite your letters? Not yet. Oh, and why not? <laughs> I'm here now, Tani. I see. Okay. All right. You want to go? All right, Ashley. At you. Mm -hmm. Let me write it down. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We had Ashley straight. Sorry. Okay. I got you. Alif. Mm -hmm. Bet. Mm -hmm. Bet. Huh? Hmm? Gimel. 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 Right. Gimel. Gimel. I want them. Yeah. There must be an L. Gimel. 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 Okay. Ah, I'll say. You got it. Good. Dalit. Right. Hey. Vav. Mm -hmm. Zayin. Mm -hmm. Ket. Ket. Mm -hmm. Yut. Did you go back to it? That's tough. Huh. Oh, I confused. No, it was tough. Tough. This, huh? no, this is tough. Tough with a k. Tough. Tough. And that's half, right? Tough. Mm. La mid. Mm -hmm. Mim. Mm -hmm. Noon. Right. Uh, this guy, you know, but some mech. Right, some mech, right. Hayen. Hmm. Okay. Right, okay. Say. That's the part. Hmm. Say. Nice. Say, yes. Sadi. Tzadi, yeah. Make the T very distinct. Tzadi. Tzadi. I must hear the tzadi. 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 Tzadi, yeah. Tzadi. Ka. Half, yeah. Resh. Resh is round, yes. Sin. Sin. Right, jolly, good. Right, so there's Marius and Sharon and Sharon and Gordon and Vince, Sharon, Ashley. Yeah, okay. Vis down off, who's there still? Anybody else? I can give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a go. Okay, let's see how you do. <laughs> right. What Aleph, right. Bet. Mm. Vet. Gimel. Right. 
Dalet. <laughs> hey. Bav. <laughs> Zayin. Hey. <laughs> Hit. Yud. 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 Half. Half. Lamed. Mem. Half. Yeah, that's, and I know noon. That's that's it. No, I don't know anymore. Noon. 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 Yeah. Noon. Yeah, I'm I'm done there, man. I don't know. Have you finished? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. So you up to some effort. Okay, you're up to some effort. That's fine. Okay. Good. So that's some effort. I in. Pay, Right, so now let's just before how I'm not going to give you a, a a a break now unless you want a break. You want a break, but I think let's carry on. Or what do you say? Do you want a break? I'm going to carry on. Okay, let's continue. Let's, let's carry, carry on. on. We continue our journey to learn biblical Hebrew. Now, now, clear your minds. We're now going to add vowels. We've been doing the Aleph Bet, which are the consonants. Those are the letters of the words that we use in Hebrew, right? The consonants. We arrange them differently. Like we do with English, you arrange the various letters to form the various words. But now, in Hebrew... Our Aleph Bet, which is the alphabet, does not have vowels in. The E and the E and the U and the O, they are all, they, the vowels we do with dots and dashes. Dots and dashes. Now, let's add the vowels. The vowels in Hebrew are A, E, I, O, U. Very similar to English. A, E, I, O, U. So if I want to say uh, Ni, Tu, U, I'm going to add a vowel that gives me the oo sound. Or pa, ma. I'm going to add the ah sound, or the e, or the e, or the oo, or the o. Oh. Okay? So you've got them. A, e, i, o, u. Five vowels, right? You got them. Did you write them down? You got them. A, E, I, O, U. Hebrew vowels are grouped the same as in English. In English, they are A, E, I, O, U. Did you hear the difference in the sound? A, E, I, O, U. Whereas in Hebrew, they are A, E, 
I. O. U. Do you hear the difference? A. E. I. O. U. Uh -huh. And if the Lord spares us oh. next week, then we're going to practice some of these. But okay, they, but these Hebrew vowels are pronounced phonetically. A, E, I, O, U. I give them a sound. It's not A, E, I, O, U. Uh -huh. It's not the A or the E or the I or the U. Okay, it's pronounced phonetically. A, E, I, O, U. Okay, each group of vowels, that is a group, the A. Ah. It's A, ah, A, ah, A. Ah. They're long, they can be lengthened and shortened. Each, each of these vowels, except the I, which is just the short one, all of these can be shortened or lengthened then it just has a slightly different sound, but it still is a, e, i, o, u. Right? Each group of vowels, that group, that group, that one, and that one, they're made up of three kinds. And I've just told you, it's a long vowel, it's father, it's Abba, and then it's the shorter one. It's even shorter. It's halved. Now, these, uh, I is the exception, or the E, as it is. It's I, E, E. E is the exception because it only has a short vowel. It doesn't have the three vowels that the others have. The others have the long vowel, a short vowel. Look there. There's bayit, and then I have vet, and then I can have an even shorter one. But e is the exception. It only has a short vowel. So it is always e, e, and a slightly shorter. <laughs> uh, you'll understand when I show you the words. Okay. Understand? Ngoni, are we getting confused? <laughs> All right. So those are the vowels that we deal with in Hebrew. Vowels, Hebrew, Nikudim. Nikudim. Remember, Hebrew we read from. Right? Right to left. Right. <laughs> Good for you. Nikudim. Nikudim. See, there's the up. Uh, there's the end of the word M. Look, it is square. It's a square, just a plain square. It's closed all around. Can you see? There it is. N -i. There's the little E. That's a K with a U, the three dots. D with its tittle. E, e, yeah. Ah. Okay. So okay. it's me, who, dear. Mm. It's that. See there. There is the your yud. There is your yud. I would have put it in as the little V up on the, on the side. But there it is just the yud. Now, if you don't know it, you can get confused. For argument's sake, you wrote it quickly and you wrote it longer. Then it immediately is not the yud anymore. 
it's now something else. It's a vav or it's half. Half sufit. Okay. But there is the M at the end of a word. I can't put that open M at the end of a word. Okay. There are only five letters that change their, their uh, shape at the end of a word. And I will give them to you, but let's just go there now. Okay. We add the vowel sounds to form words. Okay. We add vowel sounds. Now, vowels are indicated by dots and dashes written below, above, or next to the letters. Here we have it below, below, below. Right. So we haven't got the above or the next two letters in Nikudim. Okay? But in the other words, possibly it will fit in. Okay? Only two letters of the Aleph Bet consonants are used as vowels. And these letters are called vowel carriers. Right? There we have our letters. There, now look, look how different it is. Here is my Yud. That's why I say I, I like to do it like the V, then I know that's my Yud. But here is the Yud. There is my Vav with a dot on top. And there is my Vav with a dot on the side. That is why that E there, D, and there's the E vowel, and it joins in with that one to make it Nikudim. Okay? Don't worry. We're going to get a lot of them. We're going to learn. So there is my vowel and my two vowels. One with the dot on top. Now the dot on top is ah. Oh, that is now the sound of oh. Ni kudim oh. A e i oh. And that with on the side is u. That is now not vav, but it is. A vowel called U. Okay, got it? Did you hear that one? You got him? Fine, he, fine. He, <laughs> I like it. I love it. Hebrew is a phonetic language. It makes sounds. Well, most languages are. So, it's not about the name of the letter. It's about the sound of it. Okay? We understand that? Okay. So, it's not in the name of the, the M or the Q or the what. There, the Ku, Ni, Ku, Dim, Dim. Those are the vowels. Okay? And right. Now, number one. Schwa. Schwa. S-H-E-V-A is schwa. Okay? And the schwa is two... Let me... Say, yeah, I don't want to say semicolon. It looks like a semicolon. It's the two dots that is a schwa. And it's the schwa sound. The schwa vowel is a reduced vowel. Right? It halves 
a short vowel because um, okay no let me not let me not mention that now now so the schwa vowel is a reduced or a reducing vowel it halves a short vowel because the long vowel is usually unchangeable if it's a long vowel it stays a long vowel so you won't have a schwa under a long vowel except for one or two uh, differences but those we'll show you we'll show you there are two kinds of schwa they look the same but they have different functions listen they have different functions they work differently schwa na you see i put the na i just used it separated it schwa na at the beginning of a word or syllable, schwa is vocal, which means I can hear it. Which means you will say the sound of the letter and the vowel. Let me show you. Here it is. There is the word. Uh, I've separated it here, but it's a bit wrong. So it's na. There is the there is the schwa. So that's na, na, um, because underneath the a, which is a silent letter, there is the u, which is the three little letters down like that it's sort of three three like that you sorry <laughs> three na um schwa na that's schwa na that's at the beginning of a word or syllable but schwa na at the end of a word or syllable is silent which means you only say the sound of the letter which is ye i ye 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 there's the word sorry um let me take that away i put the word together there it's ye ye it will be here i've just put it to the side so that you can see there is Ye, schwa, ye, ye, e, ye, ye. If it's together, it's ye, ye, and that is it will be. Okay? Don't worry too much. We're going to go over it again and again. I worry a lot. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> please don't. I'm going to go over it so many times. <laughs> You're going to say, oh, too. please, why is he going over it again? I know it already. I okay. worry so much, I'm scared. No, don't be scared. Please don't be scared. <laughs> please don't be scared. <laughs> okay. At this, at this point in right. time, at this point in time, I'm struggling to pronounce it. <laughs> Whatever about understanding those words. <laughs> Look, at least you understand. At least you're saying it. Okay. Now, here is the kametz. A kametz is a vowel. A kametz is the a uh vowel. In father, a uh as in much and a uh as in allow. Look, father, much. Ah, love. Look how much softer and how quicker this is. They're all an A. But the comets 
which uh, I see is, 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 you can't see, but it is across the comets, is the R in father of. It's long and changeable. Okay? Then you have the patah. Patah. Have a look. Patah. And that's just a little dash. So you have the kamet, which is the cross. Then you have the patah, which is just the dash. And that is a, ah, as in much. Ach. It's the ach. That is the short vowel. And underneath this letter, you have the schwa and the cross, the, 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 the dash. The schwa and the dash. The two dots and the dash. And that is the chatef patach. Chatef patach. And that's a, ah, as in allow. Look how short that allow is. That ah, you scarcely hear it. It's allow. It's the reduced one because it has the schwa. Remember, I said the schwa shortens a short vowel. This is allow. I've reduced it. It's now allow. It's shorter. Kamet is a long, changeable vowel. It can be lengthened by adding a yud. So, if I have Abba, A, B, B, A, Abba, my father, I can add a yud. Then I'm going to pronounce it then it's not going to be father anymore. I'm going to use it in a different place, but I'm going to put it in with, an, with a yud, and it's now going to be pronounced like fly instead of a. Abba, I add a yud, and I now pronounce it fly. I. Okay. Vowels that are lengthened by adding a yud are called diphthongs. Diphthong. It is a diphthong. It's got two sounds. Fly. Fly. When commits is shortened, there, it is replaced by a patah. When commits is shortened, I replace it with a patah. I don't put a cross, I put just the dash, because then it is shorter and I pronounce it. Different.